Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. I did talk to Ikutsuki and I got his glasses wiped, which means that is another Velvet Room quest accomplished. So with that said, we can go out about on the town and go have a little bit of fun. <clears throat> And by fun, I mean I'm going to go turn in that quest, because why not? <laughs> Sup, guys? I got a thing for you. That's kind of why it was... Or maybe something just spilled on it. Oh man! Okay, long as I'm standing here, what else do we have? Perform justice! Regular angel and a higher class of angel. Crap, I can do that one. I'll worry about that later. Jack Frostall, the shell of a man. Third old document. Yep, I think we're good, other than uh, getting the third old document, which I'll hold off on accepting that one. Is technically, we can get the document without even having the quest. So I can really wait until I get the document to accept the quest. We're gonna have some coffee, though. Yeah, I can do justice, though. I can totally do that one. Justice. Bring that coffee. In late, going back to the norm. What will I do? Well, study, of course. Pretty sure I'm feeling alright. I don't see why I wouldn't be feeling alright. Yay. Yay. I studied, and I'm feeling decent. And with that, the day becomes Sunday. And we had a date scheduled for today. So we's gonna go back outside and spend the day with Chihiro. The correct response here being, there's no thief. Oh man. Now we had to do this date to get social link points. So, the next social link we can actually rank up with. Well, that was easy. And we're gonna go get some more coffee. That was a quick day. That was an easy day. I like that day. That day flew by. Flew right on by. Now, for just wanting to do coffee again, like, this is taking a surprising amount of time. I just kind of want to, like, go, hey, coffee. Can I just coffee and be coffee? And then we're done. We're done coffeeing. Y'all have seen this a hundred times, I'm holding down the fast-forward button. Oh 
Oh man, charm. Oh man, getting late. Oh man, it's late night. On the 21st, we're simply going to study more. No calls or anything tonight. Yay. Yay! And I didn't get sick. Man, these days are going great. That was like the shortest day in this entire Let's Play. Except maybe those ones that I slept through. Yo! Yeah, there sort of is. There sort of is a lot. I asked a lot of questions myself during that. And we don't have answers for none of them. So looking good. Oh man, Fuka! I sure am! Heck yeah! And guess what we're doing today, but exactly that. Oh man, class. Darn it. I'm gonna be honest, like, Octopus is kind of said to be pretty good, but I'm not touching Octopus. Octopi. Yeah, I got this one manta ray with a human's face on it. I think if I called anything a devil fish, I'd be uh, good with that one. The one not known as a devil fish. Oh man, Junpei actually stood up. Is a jellyfish, which really a jellyfish is potentially one of the more dangerous of those, so. Oh wait, no, Junpei didn't stand up. Maybe that was just like an exclamation point over his head. Maybe he just woke up. Jelly. You're alright. This class is a bunch of morons. You're alright. Because that's really, that's honestly, that's how people would react to that. He's dependable. Yay! Now today we are... You're new. Have you always been standing here? Ha! I'll leave that one there for people who have played this game before. Now we just gotta go find Fuka. Sup, Fuka? I sure would. Oh man, more of Fuka's cooking. She doesn't look so sure of herself. Hey! Giddy! I don't know how you got on the roof of a school building. Sure! And that cat wants none of it. Mm -hmm. 
that look on her face. I will say, of all of Fuka's various expressions and cutouts, that one's my favorite. And we've learned that Fuka, though not necessarily a good cook, she can taste. She doesn't, she does correctly know if something tastes good or not. Fuka, you are fantastic. I like you, Fuka. You're all right. She's just helpful and adorable. And we got away with not having to eat her food this time. She's also short, man. Look at her. She's like almost eye level with us and we're sitting down. Sure thing. You got it, Fuka. Of note is that Fuka is indeed the shortest of the entire cast of this game. Um, Sup, dude? a couple people being the exception. Of there, are, okay, so there are a couple people, but of the height comparison to how tall other people of that approximate age group and things are. She's the shortest person in this game. She's something like 5'2"? Oh man! Gonna go watch another video. This is, of course, assuming there is actually something new, and Junpei's not just pulling our leg. Six fourteen. That was about a week ago. This way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. That room has been pretty well trashed up. Maybe somebody robbed the place? I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. I don't know, I'll be honest though, that doesn't look... That doesn't look so trashed up as that somebody broke in. It just kind of looks like Junpei trashed up. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? You're getting hauled off, Junpei. You finally crossed the line. Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. <sighs> well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. 
When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. Yeah, um... How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh, well... My room always looks like this. W what B But... You can't possibly live here in this state, can you? Hey, if you know where everything is, it doesn't matter if it's a mess. You can still get by. A and the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Mitsuru, you poor, poor, sheltered person. I think this case is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kirijo? Please do. Uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so disgraceful. On whose end? I apologize for all this. It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized. You think? Come on, at least yell at me or something. <laughs> What's the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... worst luck. And you feel bad because, like, nothing actually happened in the end. Just everybody... Just, okay. Awkward moment. Hey, just making sure. So with that said, we're going out on the town. Specifically, we're going to the mall. Again. Because we always. It's the only place to do anything at night, man! We're going to Game Panic. So we can do... Print Club. Oh man, charm increase. I'm gonna do some more studying, because we always need to do more studying. Always. And I'm still not getting tired! Yes! So much academics. Crap! <laughs> 